wood strikes wood and metal strikes metal. That is a great rule to remember so long as you remember that it's got about as many exceptions to it as the English language does to any of its rules of language. Because when you're talking about a wood handle chisel and a mallet, that's obvious. When you're talking about a, a splitting wedge and a hammer, that's obvious. What about this tool? This is a tool called a fro, and it's used for splitting wood, not firewood. It's a process called riving, which is very controlled precision splitting wood. So what do I do with this? I don't want the top of this to get damaged and flare out like the top of the splitting wedge. If I hit this with a hammer, I'm gonna damage it. If I hit it with a mallet, I'm gonna break my mallet. What do I do? I use this tool, another impact device called a maul. Maul is just an impact device. It is a brute force impact. Look closely, see how that's all gnarled and mangled looking? That's from striking the top of this fro. This takes all the damage, leaving this in good shape. And when this breaks, and eventually it will, pick up a piece of firewood and carve a handle on it, and I have a new maul, and this becomes firewood. Because this is a lot easier and a lot cheaper to replace than this.